Hey guys, today we're going to illustrate a simple night landscape. This will be a beginner friendly, easy to follow tutorial. So feel free to open the software and try to follow up. You can pause in any moment, you can catch up. All right, try to make your own little vector artwork while we are working here. Okay, let's get started. I got A4 blank canvas. I'm using Affinity Designer version two. But you can use version one as well. You can even try with different software. If you use Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator, you should be able to follow those instructions as well as all of those vector editing programs are quite similar. All right, so let's get started with a backdrop. I'm going to use a rectangular shape. So rectangle, that will be my backdrop. And today we are aiming into some kind of violets. So by the way, quick tip here. I plan to use gradient, right? But instead of like picking the gradient straight away, first I'm filling this area with the color. So when I pick the gradient in a moment, here it is, fill tool with gradient. It's already remembered the first color I picked, so it's give me some kind of violet gradient. In my case, I will change it from violet to more like pinkish. So I got lighter color down there. So we want darker color up and lighter at the bottom just like that this will be our main backdrop so it will not change i'm going to lock this layer using this little lock icon here it is now we cannot select and change this layer anymore we're going we're going to create some kind of like moon so let's go with the oval shape and as you remember you hold shift you can make a perfect circle this will be white and I will also apply some kind of transparency in it. So transparency tool is just below the gradient tool and it's work exactly as gradient. So the part of the object is transparent now. More than that, we're going to apply a layer effect to this guy. So let's click FX in the layer effect section here in the layer panel, FX, and we're going with the outer glow, outer glow. We want this object to glow like a moon. As you can see, we can reach 100 pixels on the slider and that's it. But actually we can override this. So I'm going to type 300, enter, and my glow is way bigger now. Let's change the blend mode to overlay. So it's blending with the original color of the sky. So it's much softer. All right, perfect. That's what I want. Let's work with the bottom for a moment. So we will have some kind of skyline here, some kind of hills, mountains. I'll use pen tool. And this time we're going easy mode on pen tool. So you don't need to click and drag to make it curvy. We will just click, 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 make it stiff. And then I will show you the method how we can make this very sharp line into a more curvy one. So let's finish up like this and now we should be able to like pick the color matching the sky but we will go easy mode make it white blend mode overlay around 15 percent and this way we know that it will blend with the sky just like that very soft horizon line and of course we can use node tool to move those nodes if we don't like it you can also click on the line to add new notes like that and as i promised i'm going to show the way how you can make it smoother now even though we got very strange sharp lines we can select all of those notes so click and select all of them and now we will use corner tool here it is corner tool and drag one of those notes down and now we're making round corners right <laughs> so we're rounding up our little mountains Something like that will do. Take a look. Way better, way softer. Nice. So that's our skyline. Let's push it a little bit down. Okay. We got moon in the center like that nicely. Let's create some stars around the moon. So there's a dedicated star tool, as you may know already. If I use star tool, I will end up with the star like that. That's a good start. Let's change from five to four points. Four points, all right. Now we need to make this way smaller, just like that. Let me zoom in a bit using Command Plus. 
and now I can move around with my spacebar on. Okay. Let's add effect to this star as well. And same thing, outer glow with overlay on it. And I will create several copies. Instead of copy and paste, copy and paste, I'm just holding command on my keyboard and then moving the shape with the move tool. This way, instead of moving the shape to new position, you create a duplicate in that new position. All right. Now let's change some of those shapes to have like 50% opacity. So we got stars with different colors, you could say. We don't want all stars to look exactly the same. 50% opacity here and there. And also I will also create a new version of the star, way smaller, very tiny one. And a few more copies of of that tiny one as well. So just populate your sky with the star. And as I mentioned, you can just hold your command on Mac. And this way you can make a duplicate while you are dragging the shape around. Okay, this sign looks fine. We are not want to eat like perfect. As human, we always want to feel, oh, this is like empty space here and this is too many. No, don't think about like that because we try to mimic the nature. So we need to go into some kind of asymmetry, organic pattern. All right. One like that, like popping out. That's nice. And when we want here below, just below the moon. Okay, and that's our night sky. We got moon, we got night sky already. We got all of the backdrop set up. It's time to move to the front of the picture. So we're going to use very easy oval shape this time. Just like that. And we go with some kind of darker blue. This is some night sky. We got violet there, so dark blue will do. As you can see, the shape can pop up outside the art, but we don't need to worry about it too much. And then one more copy of the same shape. This would be behind, so I reorder my layers. And just like that. Nice, that will be our front. And we'll put some trees here on the left side. I'm not sure about the right side. We will see. Okay, so how we can make a nice tree. Oval shape again. This will be our tree. So let's change the color slightly. So it's not exactly the same as the, as the ground below. Okay. And now I'm going to convert this to curves. Bam. And this way I can move my nodes. So I move these two nodes all the way down. And this is my tree. I got my tree ready. And let's work with the bottom part. So I will use pen tool. I'll pick the same color from the tree and just make it slightly darker like that. Okay. Again, the big advantage of using vector as our tool is we can always go back and we can readjust some nodes. So it's not like it's not about this perfect stroke manual skills. No, more like composing stuff from shapes. Okay, move it up. We can even group this together. So I will use a right click on those two layers and group that. That's my tree. All right, let's use that layer now. And we will do something very similar that we did with the stars. We'll populate this front with nice looking trees. So we need to start from the back, move from the back to the front while we're making copies.
All right, that's our little forest on this hill. Not sure I should put some trees on another hill. Let's try. Why not? Let's try. You know what? I will make this tree the same color as this hill. Perfect. Or maybe a little bit darker. All right, and this way we will think this is farther away. Here, way smaller trees somewhere over there, and another hill. And in this case, I mess up a little bit, but there's no problem because we got like same color. We just making this area occupied by this dark tree like color. Okay. And you know what? This is a big mess here, so many trees together. So I'm going to select all of them from my layer panel and I'm going to group that as well. So I use command G, so that's one group. And as you can see, this group is above another hill, so that's not right. We need to move it all the way down here. Perfect. Cool, so what next? Now we need to adjust our trees here on this side, on this hill, to have some kind of glow and shadow. So I select all of those trees from the layer panel. That's the easiest way. This way you select what you need and go for FX. FX, we will work with simple gradients. So go for gradient. And now we need a brighter side over here. And this, I don't want it to be completely black, just like very dark gray with some noise on it. Perfect. Still, the angle is a bit too much. Okay, that's nice. Let's try to overlay this gradient. Maybe like 50%. And as you can see, our trees are way nicer now. We got this glow from the side of the moon and shadow behind. Of course, as you can see, the floor, you could say the grass around those trees, too bright because now we have shadow from the trees. So you, your brain is telling you something is not right in this area. Yes, that's right. So let's, instead of making super realistic shadows, we will go with simple oval tool, completely black, and it shouldn't be above. So let's drag it all the way down between trees and the hill, like that. And I will make several copies of this oval to create some kind of, some kind of area of shadow here. Like that, I can select all of those ovals and then I can unite them into one shape using the add function at the top. All right, we got these shadows here and we can blur them using layer effects. So FX again, Gaussian blur, a little bit of Gaussian blur, not too much, something like that. Our favorite blending mode for this project, overlay. We can play with opacity from 0 to 100, just like that. Okay, and we got nice shadows here below the trees with some light going through, so that's nice. How about those trees on the right side? I'm not sure I want to do anything about them. Maybe very simple and light gradient here. This is low detail, so we don't want to mess it up by adding some like one element, very high detail popping up too much from the rest of the project. Okay, so what can we do here? Very, very gentle, I would say, maybe only like 25%. You know what? Actually, we don't need to use effect for that. It's a very simple object like this. Maybe we can just unite this into one object as we did before. So I will do something crazy. I will select all of that and I will ungroup for a moment. 
and then I will unite that into a one single shape. And that's one shape now, we don't need a group anymore. So this group is empty, we can delete that. Okay, that's just one shape. So what we can do is we can change the fill into a gradient. This way we can avoid using additional effect. So we are changing this into a gradient. All right, so that's our color. And like that, very gentle, I like how it's turned out. Okay, so that's our trees. On the right, on the left, we got trees in higher details with shadow and everything. And the finishing touch for this little night landscape will be to create uh, some glow for them from the moon. So let's go with trapezoid tool and make a trapezoid in the center of this artwork. Just like that to the bottom, white color. And you guessed that probably overlay. <laughs> and we need to blur this. I like to zoom out a bit when we almost finishing up with the project so I can see everything nicely. And now FX, we're going to Gaussian blur. Cannot see it. All right, it's still too strong. So I will make 200. As you know, you can override this from the keyboard 200. Nice. And then reduce opacity 50%. And this way we got this nice glow in the center. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's our little vector landscape. Everybody can replic replicate those steps and create this artwork. As I mentioned, you don't need any manual skills, not a perfect stroke. You can always redo, undo, redraw. We're working with vectors, we can change nodes slowly, one by one, and end up with a nice little landscape like this. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to Follow me for more tutorials like this and I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.